Call the member from Macquarie. Speaker. On Sunday, penalty rates will be cut again. That means nearly 700,000 Australians will be up to $77 a week worse off. In Macquarie, my electorate, it's one in six workers in hospitality and retail who can legally have their pay cut. These are workers who live locally, who service our tourism sector, which of course booms at weekends. And when the work is done, these same workers spend their money locally, but they'll have less to spend from Sunday. That's $77 a week less to spend on groceries, $77 less to pay for kids' shoes, $77 less towards that ever-growing electricity bill. The Prime Minister has no problem with these workers losing this money. Penalty rates have never been an important thing to him. He'll never understand what, that it's the reason why young people, older people, low-skilled workers, mums, dads, students, when they're filling in their availability for shifts, opt for weekend and late-night work. It's not because they don't want to have the same Sunday as everybody else. It's because they don't have a choice. They need the money and they need their penalty rates protected. At a time when wages are stagnant at record lows, this government's boasting about a $10 a week tax cut, but at the same time it's sitting back gloating while some workers lose $77 a week. And I see that hair and beauty workers are the next to face the threat to their penalty rates for Sunday work. This is one of the lowest paid trades in Australia, and we will not sit on the sidelines and watch these workers be forced down the same dead end as their hospitality and retail colleagues. Only Labor will restore and protect workers' penalty rates, and the government should be supporting our bill.